Let's try encaustic art or painting with wax. Hey, I'm Pam Duthie and I'm here to boost your creativity with trying random different things. If you haven't already, check out my video where I did the unboxing of this old encaustic art painting kit that I found randomly lying under my desk, actually. And if you're a creative person like me, you possibly have tried lots of different types of art over the years. So let me know, what kind of kits have you got lying about that you haven't tried in a long time? And today we're going to have a try at painting with the encaustic art. I'm a bit nervous, but let's give this a go. From the smell of it, I'm heating up the iron just now and it smells like it still works. <laughs> so let's give this a go and try and create a few um, masterpieces. That, that That's the word we'll use here. Fingers crossed it works out. So as I showed in my unboxing, the iron itself is a little bit funky looking. I always thought it used to sit upside sit like that it kind of no it doesn't now that would be handy on any kind of kit is having a, a way to stand it maybe there was now I've got I even found some ancient kitchen roll where this was all stored just gonna try and put out oh, yeah that's cleaning up nicely now if you're going to do encaustic painting you need to have some paper below to keep your your surface is clean it is going to be messy and lots and lots of kitchen roll oh that's standing upright right now if i remember correctly you can use the clear wax to clean up even better there we go that's definitely hot enough i've just got it on the low setting because i want to give myself time to get the hang of all of this so i've rubbed over some clear run my paper towel over it and Ta-da! It looks clean to me. Right, first things first, I want to make... What should we do first? Let's do a kind of Christmassy card, because Christmas. So, I'm thinking this would be best with greens and reds, a bit of blue and some silver. So let's start that's gold and some gold so let's start with a little bit of red i'm just gonna pop it in there okay that worked um and to the red i will add a tiny smidge of blue because purple and we'll try the the dab and lifty thing let's see if this works so dab lift oh yeah 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 that's something <laughs> and I could just turn the, the card not the whole paper underneath and dab and lift yeah 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 I might need a little more color I'm getting excited now <laughs> a little more red where's the blue where's the blue a little more blue dab and lift yeah 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 and dab and lift okay 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 let's clean that off and go in with the next layer of colors okay this isn't going to clean fully that's not bad right next layer of colors so let's do oh blue and gold that sounds cool for a next layer let's melt some of this gold on And some blue. I'm trying to really flood it with the blue because the colours weren't showing up. And there's a little bit of red melted in the corner. That's fine. So for this, I'll go slightly less far in. Oh, got to actually touch it. There we go. Dab. 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 More colour, more colour, more colour, more colour. And it's picking up a little bit of the red as it goes along as well. Okay. Interesting. I'm not going to say good, but who knows? It might turn out okay in the end. <laughs> who knows? Right. I think, I think, I think we need to go with greens next. 
let's just do a full green round <laughs> sound like I know what I'm doing okay so slightly further in we're gonna go dab Ooh, that looks revolting doesn't it dab oh 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 that's doing something interesting up the colours below as well. Cool, 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 cool. Interesting. Right, I think more gold. I'm not even going to clean the iron between just now. I'm going to need to do the tip. Right, so this is into the centre, little dab. I th it looks like the metallics take longer to heat up. Now, <laughs> I'm not liking this. <laughs> Let's be honest, this is looking terrible. So, ooh, ooh, little dabs of, little, little dabs of gold. Um, so yeah, if you hold it like this, you can melt and it will drip down as well. That's really interesting. Yay, we make drips. <laughs> I'm, I'm not learning, I'm re-remembering re re techniques. But anyway, I'm not quite liking the look of this. So, you're not finished with encaustic art. That's the good thing. I can just remelt it and let the iron do something different. So I'm holding it down for a second so everything remelts. I'm just going to lift it up, hold it down, and lift it up. <laughs> now that's <laughs> terrible. And let's try swipes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Swipes make it look awful. Well done, Pam. You have killed it. So <laughs> let's try lifties. Okay, okay. That's kind of working, but the line where the iron is makes too much of a line. So I'm just going to try and... Now we've gone from a festive scene to a kind of murky castle, it seems. <laughs> murky underwater. I'm just going to go too far and this is... No, I've already gone too far and this looks terrible. I'm just dabbing away, trying to, trying to get something out of this. No, smearing is looking terrible, but picking it up and dabbing it. We're getting something. An abomination, but it's something. Ooh, that's nice drippiness. I don't know how we did that, but that's really cool. Ah, I lifted up some of that stuff. That gold that's looking so horrible, so let's work with that. There we go. If in doubt, make it look like a beach or seaweed or something. But I'm 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 liking more how the other colours are just kind of peeking through. Now that is definitely imagination. <laughs> It's not a keeper, but that's that's my first time doing this in a number of years. So, whoops, we've got a start on there. I just want to clean off this and we'll try something different. Let's move that aside and forget that ever happened. <laughs> okay, so... 
Now, I don't know if that's just me being rubbish, which is most likely, but I'm going to try upping the temperature a little bit. I can't remember what that'll do. And what I'm really keen to do is to see how this looks on black. And let's, let's do the colours that I like. So, I think... How should we do this? We'll have a little white in the centre. So I'm melting in some white white and some red up the sides we're, we're going to make purples i know this is going to happen doing some red up the sides and i've got a kind of more deeper red And tip the edges with blue, of course. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, for magicalness, put a little bit of this gold into the middle. Just a little swirl through the white. Now I'm super nervous. I believe you're supposed to do this on a on a smaller card because the iron is too too small for this card. But let's just try and see what happens. Quickly flip it, iron it over. Yeah, that's ugly. It's super, I'm rubbish at this. I'm so bad at this. Right. So let's let's try doing that again, but this in this direction. So oh, it was white in the middle. Yeah, let's let's pop some white in the middle and the darker red. Oh, no, that's a really nice purpley pinky color. That's awesome. And some blue down to here. Loaded up loads of blue. Have I got enough? I wonder. Is that a green? Let's find out what colour that is. Oh, that's black. Oh, cool. Yeah, right. We'll put black at the edges. That's that's fine. And some more swirly gold for magicalness. And let's see what we can do now. So, plop it on. Drag it across. Pray to the gods of ironing. Is there is there a god of irony? I think there we go. Oops, I'm dripping hot wax everywhere. So I can go over again and try and get some. I'm using much less pressure to see if we can start to see anything, which I can't. So we'll do dabbles, dabbles, dabbles. Let it swirl in different directions. It's so much, this is going to sound stupid, it's so much darker on the black. I wasn't sure if it would show up kind of interesting, you know, really bright against the dark. Right, I'm going backwards and forwards, kind of swirly, seeing if we get anything. The gold's coming through. There's some interesting colours happening there, but I really want to get better blends here. So let's. Oh, oh no, that that worked. This is up at a higher temperature, so I'm just gently dabbing dabbing it on, but not as much as how I got the kind of. Oh, got stuck. This is so interesting to see what comes up. Okay, there's something happening down here now. Let's. So I think we really should use the brighter colours for the <laughs> for the black. Uh, I'm dabbing. If in doubt, if in doubt, do this dabby thing, and then you get interesting textures but yeah that even even for me that's a little bit too dark so let's let's put a little bit of white into this mix this is probably where we kill it but a little bit more brightness i think oh here we go yes popping white in Mm, 
now there's a bit of a mountain range. Now I've just killed it. And there's a swirly abomination. Right, I think some silver. Some silver. Look at how filthy the pan's getting. And we can even drip some on to start with. Come on, drip. Yay, drip. And you could do that to make kind of moonlight, but I just want to make some random silverness. Because what's happening is the colours you add on are blending in. You're also melting the colours that you've already put down. So we're getting a bit more blendy. So we've got some mountains and and let's let's dab. Let let's dab. sort of imagine but the black is too dark against anything but the brightest colors but I I can see imagine things in that but let's let's put it to one side okay <laughs> let's let's have a third attempt at trying to right third attempt at trying to get something <laughs> reasonable I think what would be interesting to try is actually going with a landscape. I'm scared, but let's do this. So firstly, for a landscape, I'm going to need a sky. So, going in with a load of white. A lot, a lot of white. And I'm going to put in a lot of blue. So it's a swirly... And I think, oh, that's all kind of fallen off. A little dab of silver, no idea why. Right. I think this might be too hot, but we've got to read up on it. So onto that and just gently swirl in the sky. For sure, that looks like an angry sky. Okay, there we go. <laughs> There's the sky. Not very good. Please let this one work. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be inspired by one of my own old drawing drawings. Let's let's find one. I definitely did a landscape. Okay, here we go. Here's the landscapes. So I think you do grey mountains next. So where did I? So a little more white underneath well, well yeah we don't want all the red there's red in my white so a little bit of white and this one was black wasn't it hopefully yeah this one tiny bit of black and in between we'll mix the two with a whoops little bit of blue because blue because it's far away let's try some mountains i don't think that's going to be enough but we'll try Okay, Bob Ross, see your heart out. <laughs> okay, right. 
So we do that kind of thing again. A load of white. I'm going to put more black on. Let's be brave. And the blue underneath the black. Right. Let's start from here. Make some jaggy mountains in the background. And hide that one because it's an abysmal one. Oh, I don't think we're doing very well here at all. But that's the background. That's the background there. That's fine. That's fine. That's the background. Right. I think browns for the four closer, closer foregrounds. And these were kind of more rolling hills. So we're going to come on and go rolling hill, rolling hill. I need to put getting the hang of this. This used to be easy. I used to do this as a relaxation. Let's go with rolling hill. There's a hill. That's a hill. Yay. Oh, that's a terrible hill. And another hill. And oh. <laughs> okay, hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Put some texture in there. Ah, ah, I think I'm I'm getting getting it slightly. So we have a range of hill. <laughs> I was definitely better before. And we're gonna come in with some greens to make a foreground. This green, I think that's a green. That's a kind of green. A little bit of green. And we'll put a tiny bit of blue in. We're going to dab that in. More green. Okay, so you've got to keep the bottom section that you want to be green, more green, <laughs> more clear, but okay. I'll give it loads of green on. And pull it up just to... So we have a foreground colour. Okay, okay. I, I can live with that. It's not good, but I can live with that. And let's, because it's what I did in the picture there, I'll just take in tiny bits of purple. That's not a tiny bit of purple. Yes, just... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And little flowers, I believe, if I remember correctly. Oh no, that is not how you do a flower. That's dripping out all the other colours that were there. So we'll try and try and fix that mistake. No, have we killed it? I think we've killed it. No, 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 no. Let's let's save what we've got. We've done it, we've done it. Right, for some reason the inside of the iron seems to have picked up loads of colour, so I'm going to see if we can drip that out, because that was the problem. It it dripped. <laughs> it dripped. So I've just got to clean out the inside of the iron. Yeah, I can see it's absolutely full with colours. Okay, where's this clear? It's flooded out with some clear.
Okay, I'm still learning, so I'm going to stop there. I think this might be too high. Where's... Turn it down to... Right. Okay, I'm, I'm not mad at that, actually. That one's kind of good for a two second artwork. Okay, I'm not mad at that one. Let's, one, one more, one more, we're gonna get this. <sighs> fantasy, fantasy, for sure fantasy. So this time I'm gonna go dark, but not as dark, so I'm gonna come in clear in the center so everything can run through each other silver or gold let's go silver which has a little bit of white in it because I didn't clean them um, and then white I think I'm doing this in the wrong direction I am I am I'm doing this totally wrong that's let's try again right So that's the centre, right, clear, muddling some silver through, oh I like that silver, that is so nice, white at either sides of it, and I believe I read that if you fill up the iron that's enough for one of these cards, um, now yes, a little streak of this red, I know that's going to wash through to pink, but we can deal with that. And some of this purple, purpley pink. I really like that colour. That is so nice. And some of this blue. Loads of this blue, in fact. This is definitely less fluid now I've turned the iron down a bit. and tip off the edges with black. And I want just a tiny fleck of silver in the black as well, cause it's magical, says me. Okay, wish me luck, let's Let's give it a swipe. What have we got? Nothing so far. It's way too cool. I think I'm going to heat this up slightly. So, pass again. And this blends everything just a slight bit more. That might give me some ideas. Nothing yet. got some little comets there this is looking like a sky what I'm gonna do is I'm just letting the iron come in contact and it, I'm just gonna let it do its thing so I've lifted this up and I'm just kind of gonna float it hopefully float it over the card let's see if that gives us something I always make these little dribbles, don't I? These little, what we're going to call them, like 
seaweed. If that's what it wants to do, let's let it do that. something. I don't know if it's good but we've got something. Let's do that again just letting the front edge touch and melt and it just peel off at the back. Add more of this red color it's getting a bit too dark for me and a little, a little more white I think we've done it. <laughs> that is kind of cool. Under, I always seem to get underwater, but anyway, so let's just frame what we've made. I'm just framing it with dabbing the iron round, and that gives a melty, lifty pattern. something oh the little bits of silver are just glistening just sparkling in these little things and it's a thing and I don't know what it is but actually I kind of love it I made something <laughs> I made something that I'm happy with right clean up the iron and then we're done so how did I do let's have a look at these paintings first my least favorite which I thought would be my most favorite on black actually it picks up not bad some uh, there's a little bit of sparkle from some of the silver and it's kind of abstract it's not hideous um, but the colors muddied up a bit so if you're going to use the black card Go with much brighter colours. And my second, my second most or least favourite, this little guy. Um, I tried to do something fancy, didn't quite work, so we went with a fantasy underwater theme. I do like how the different colours are poking out through this kind of gold seaweed. <laughs> But yeah, not my favourite. And then for, for today's work, <laughs> this is my favourite. This is my favourite little, little guy. I am actually super happy how this turned out. I didn't think it was going well, but now when you look into it, I, I'm liking him this way up. It's like a fantasy landscapey thing. Um, but yeah. Oh, I... Actually, it kind of works that way too. That's not bad. That's the magic of this. It's like it can be anything you want it to be. And you just keep, you're, you're not done until you're happy with it. You just keep going over with different colours until you spot something you like the look of. I nearly forgot this landscape, didn't I? I'm actually kind of happy with that. So we've got four paintings in 
20 minutes we've got four paintings in about an hour <laughs> let me know in the comments down below what you think of them anyway i hope this totally different little launch into something totally different uh, was interesting if you're wanting some more wax painting videos then comment down below or if you're wanting none at all give me a thumbs down and tell me this was rubbish but thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you next time